Hi, this is Squad, and in this video, I want to tell you about repeating action potential. So here's a typical action potential. The most important player is voltage gated in a channel which is closed. It has two openings. One is M, one is H. And as you increase the flow of positivity by some whatever method, then what happens is this voltage gated in a channel will start open. And opening is so much faster for M, so M opens up quickly. H should close as you increase the voltage because M and H behave differently. M is closed to begin with and it opens as you increase the membrane potential and H is the opposite, opens but then it closes as you increase. But H is just so much slower but M is fast. That's why here M is open but H is not closed yet. Here M is more open and H is trying to close but not close completely yet. At the peak, the M is most open and H is now finally caught up and closed. From here, there's no NA flow. And this no NA flow will continue until round here because this is where the H will open up again. And when voltage is this low, M is back to its initial state of mostly closed. So during this whole phase, the membrane potential is going down and H should be back to open, but it's gonna take H a while to finally open up. Because there's only one type of voltage gated in a channel, if this H is closed, then during this whole closing phase, there is no permeability of NA and thus the cell membrane potential is even more negative than its resting potential. And when the NA flow comes back up again a little bit, because this is negative 60 millivolts around this middle phase, there is some NA flow in and out. That's why the membrane potential is a little bit more positive than this bottom. Now let's talk about what is driving this drop. This is mainly driven by voltage gated potassium channel. Voltage gated potassium channel is this. As you increase the membrane potential at some point, this thing is going to open up. So let's draw it out. I'm going to draw a little circular closed here, starting to open around here. And during this whole increase, basically you have high membrane potential. And during this time, this channel is going to be open. And because K is open and there's more K in the cell, K is going to come out of cell flow in opposite direction than NA and drive down the membrane potential. So this is a typical action potential. But what happens if you remove this channel from the cell? What if this cell has just less of this channel to begin with? Well, this driving is going to be less steep, right? So it's, instead of going down like this, it's going to go down a little bit less steep, okay? But remember, the voltage gated NA channels H opens up again around here. Yes, there's some delay, but around here, H is now open. And what about M? Well, M should be closed at rest, but when the mobile potential is this high, M is a little bit open too, because again, look, the M is closed when the voltage is low, but if the VKC, is not driving fast enough and M can be open. Now sodium will flow from outside to inside and slowly this is going to make even more positivity and leading to more M being even more open. Again, H is now still open and you'll get another action potential. So basically, if you don't drive down this action potential fast enough, opening of H leads to some opportunity for some NA to flow in. And that's all you need to increase or maintain the positivity for the M to kick in and this positive feedback of M activating another M while H is still being slow to close is going to lead to another action potential. And again, now fast enough, instead of going down like this, around the tip, H is completely closed, M is open, H is still closed, here M is still a little bit open and not fast enough to get to this part at this time point. And now here H is open up again. And this is all you need to let some NA to flow in and kickstart another action potential. So you can see how action potential can repeat and repeat and repeat. Just given one, this initial stimulation to kickstart this first up 
and two decrease the concentration of voltage gated potassium channel used to drive down this action potential. In fact, when you look at your heart cells, it has a unique makeup of cellular channels. One of their uniqueness is having low voltage gated potassium channel used to drive this recovery. And that's why just with one stimulation, your heart cells can on and on and on continue the beating process, given that you have enough ions flowing around.